Hey y'all, it's Janice here. I have a Hobby Lobby to share today. Um, uh, went yesterday on Friday. Jeff gave me some uh, some cash for Mother's Day, so um, I got out and went to Little Rock and went to Hobby Lobby. Haven't been to Hobby Lobby, gosh, in probably a couple of months. The last few times that I've been, you know, shopping, I've just went by Michael's for, you know, this and that. And so, yeah, it's been a long time since I've been to Hobby Lobby, and I was tickled to see, you know, some of the uh, new things that they've uh, got out now. You know, I haven't really heard, you know, or seen any Hobby Lobby uh, hauls on YouTube, and, and I, I, you know, I didn't know that they had so much new stuff, so... Very, very excited. Um, they had their uh, trims and laces and that, that type of thing for 50% uh, off this week. So I picked up a few of those, of course. Uh, this one normally $1.99, you know, of course, 50 off. So I got this one for a dollar. It's real tiny and so cute. I don't know what you call that. I guess. It's not really a Pico because it's not ribbon. It's just, um, and it's not a braid. I really don't know. Let me see if I can get it to focus in good. No. But it's so precious. Really cute. And it's kind of a, kind of a crochet type of deal. Love this. Very little, like I said. I got that one in white. And they had, you know, most of these, they had them in, you know, different colors. And then I got uh, this one. This one may not be a, be such a new one. I think I've seen this one on one of Karen's videos. JB Lady Scrapper 48. It's kind of like a, um, um, not really burlap, but that kind of material. And then a pearl strand running down the middle. Isn't that cute? And this one was regular $2.99, so that, I got that one for $1.50. And then this one, they had another one that was kind of like this, you know, because this one is, it's the stretchy, but it doesn't have the, uh, I mean, it's got the elastic, I'm sure, in the middle, but it, this is covered up with a velvet, pink velvet. Isn't that pretty? You know, they had another one that was a, I think it was more of a peachy pink. And it was a little bit wider, but uh, I think this one might be fairly new. And th they have this one, you know, in different colors too. And this one is three was three ninety nine, so I got that one for two dollars. And then this real tiny, tiny uh, blue rickrack. Oh, I just thought this was so cute. I can't figure out where the end of this one is, y'all, to be able to take it out. But it's just real little bitty rickrack. Isn't that cute? And it was $1.99 regular. So, uh, I got that one for a dollar. And then this one, uh, this is more like a, uh, I guess, a ribbon type. Uh, but the edges are scalloped on each side. And then it has like a little uh, hole. Isn't that cute? And they had that one in different colors. Oh, okay. Oh, and this one was uh, regular $2.99, so I got that one for $1.50. And then I picked up a roll of this stuff. I'm not so sure about how new this is either. I think I've seen this before. And it was regular $6.99. That's pricey, but I got it for $3.50. So... I just thought it was real neat, though. It's uh, kind of a net, and then they had this in the uh, the white, which I got the white, and then they had it in a um, kind of a tan colored, and then black is what they had this one in. And I thought that would be really cool to use, you know, on mixed media projects. Maybe with the C. Sally, the stamp, the premise doll stamp C. Sally. It'd be cute with her. So that's all the trims I got, and then they also had their, uh, you know, the spare parts brand embellishments on for 50 off this week, so I picked up a few of those, too, that were in new. I was really excited to see all this stuff. New to me, like I said. 
new to me. And they had uh, these metal, metal, bo metal bobbins. <laughs> Couldn't hardly get that out. You get eight pieces, uh, regular three ninety nine. So I got all those for uh, two dollars, and they had them in this color, which is like the um, silvery antique silver color, and then they had them in the bronze also. And uh, this was really cool. I thought uh, two ninety nine. So I got it for a dollar fifty, and it's uh, one and a half inch by three and a quarter feet. So that's about a yard right so and you know and that's film strip so I thought that would be kind of cute on cool on some mixed media and then these buttons got regular $5.99 but I got them all for $3 and they are gorgeous y'all there's some really pretty buttons in this and they're all like metal looking so I thought that was a real good deal and they had some resins that I had never seen before. These frames, uh, got them for $2. So, and then they had another frame too. It was just one in a pack. The package was like this, but it was a big one. You know, they were all white resin. And, um, move this over here. Okay, and then, um, I got this gate, resin gate for two bucks and then these resin bicycles isn't that cute those are a good size for two bucks so I was really excited to see all that and they had other stuff too other resins and other you know all kinds of new spare part stuff so that was super cool oh and they had some new Tim Holt stuff in y'all um, they had all of his um or most of his layering stencils so I picked this one and now this stuff that wasn't on sale I went in let's see I went in Hobby Lobby four different times yesterday and used a 40% coupon I don't pay full price for anything <laughs> at Hobby Lobby I mean you know I go back and forth to my vehicle you know and sit there for a bit or whatever and go back in you know, which they know, but whatever. They, you know, what are they going to say? All right, so I got the Harlequin. Really excited to get this one. They had the, the um, let's see, they didn't have the bubble one, but they had the uh, honeycomb. They had the ruler one. Anyway, several different, you know, and all kinds of new Tim Holtz embellishments and stuff, the new stuff. Okay. And then I uh, picked up some dies. They weren't on sale, but I went in, you know, and got them, you know, with my 40% coupon. So they had, oh, well, let me do the Tim Holtz one first since we're on Timmy. Yeah, I picked up this one. I know this is not a new one, but I've never seen this one at my Hobby Lobby before. And I was so excited to, to see this one. I was going to cut it. Oh, well, when I cut it and uh, make some, I'll show them to y'all. Because I've never seen I've never seen anybody use these on YouTube. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they're, someone's used them. But anyway, I haven't seen them used. <laughs> I was so excited to see this because I was even thinking about, <coughs> I have been eyeballing the, um, my favorite things, I think it's uh, called Dainty Bows, which I still might order that one. But anyway, like I said, I'm just bow crazy right now. Bows and banners. All right, and they had some little yellow bicycle uh, uh, dies in. And they also had some of the new Spellbinders Inspire little packets, individual. Um... Uh, dies, but I didn't get any of those, but I, I picked this one this time, and it's Hope, Dream, and Believe. I just couldn't believe all the new stuff they had in, and then I I know this isn't a new die, but like I said, I it's new to my Hobby Lobby, y'all, so it may be new to y'all's too, I don't know, but I bought this one, and I got it for 40% off, all these dies, I got them 40% off. 
Y'all know that. I'm making sure y'all know that. <laughs> I ain't paying full price for nothing. Oh, and I was telling you that they had a bunch of new Tim Holtz stuff. They had the, um, what's it called? The assemblage clock. So I went ahead and picked one of these up. I got it for six bucks. So, uh, I don't know when I'll, uh, get around to, uh, altering this but i look forward to altering it and i don't know whenever i get something like this it takes me a while to because i got to think about what i'm going to do you know to something like this before i do it i'll have to look around on youtube and see you know what all everybody's done to theirs and just get some ideas and stuff anyway that'll be fun to do of course when i do it i will share it <laughs> All right, well, that is my Hobby Lobby haul, and I was so, so tickled to uh, be able to get out and go uh, pick up some things. So, anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, subscribe and leave a comment if you'd like. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.